All right, today we're coming at you from the Westgate Golf Club. We have been past this place a thousand times. You can see the Westgate Bridge in the background. I've always wanted to give it a go. Apparently it's still winter in Victoria. It's very cold. We're gonna go out and we're gonna have some fun. Let's get into it. Now there is a creek down there and that may have swum. So Damien and Kyle hit the ball in the water for me to show me where the water is. So I've, uh, I've pulled back to a hybrid, even though I'm not a very big hitter of the driver. Hopefully that's not far enough to reach the water. About 111 into the green. I'm actually really, really impressed with how good this course is so far. Like, it's in an awesome condition. Considering the rain we've had, it's fantastic. Now a wee bit left. Hopefully that's on the green, hopefully. Maybe. So, uh, it's in there somewhere. It's in there. We, uh, I ain't going in there, that looks like a drain, so I'll, I'll just leave that one. It's a bit, um, yeah. You know how you do that water, but it does, it kind of forks off, so I've kind of left myself in a shit position. But anyway, I'll just um, drop it nicely there. Look at that light, that's Great a drop. perfect drop. Stop, stop. Yeah, very good. Stay right, stay right. Yeah, I think it's okay. Oh dear. Rip it. Oh, so good. Maybe hot is your thing. That went out real hot, didn't it? Sit down. Sit on it. Yeah, great shot. The rain has hit. If you're not from Victoria, this is sort of late spring. It's been raining every sort of second, every day for about the last three to four weeks. The sun was out a minute ago, and now it's raining again. Get up, get up, get up. Oh. That was for birdie. How about a birdie in ages? But a par will do. He's complaining about how bad he's putting, yet he's part of holes. Two holes, mind you. Yeah, up and down, good. I'll push that out to the right. Don't go out there. Finding a lot of the uh, rough on this course today. Hello. Oh, 
Oh, I had to stop on a dime. A pretty, pretty damn generous sized green. Although, it is actually two greens. But speaking of the greens, they are in amazing condition. For a $20 golf course, for nine holes, it's in ridiculously good condition. And like I said, we've had so much rain, look how nice the greens are, and they're still quick. Ooh, at least I got it there today. Hit it, hit it. Ooh, bad luck. All right, we're about 80 odd reviews into our mission to review every golf course in Australia. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe now so you see them all. It's not often that we find a hole that we're sort of taken aback by. This is only 168 metre par three from back there, and we're about 140 odd from here. But as you can see, or as you can't see, the greens are around the corner. So you kind of got to play it over the trees. If, you wouldn't want to live on that corner there because there's a lot of balls in and out in your backyard. But I don't even know where the flag is. Not that, that matters. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Ratho Farms, link above. Um, hitting tee shots where you actually don't quite know where you're going. Oh, oh just hit the tree. Oh, shit. Nah, there we are. It may have taken a little bit off it, but we'll see. It's got way left. Way left. So this fascinating hole takes another little twist. If Damien Pan's over there, there's a children's playground next to the hole. If you're like me, and I'm sure a lot of you like me, and you slice as you go, they're really in the danger zone there, so they mustn't lock their kids around here because they put them in the danger zone. <laughs> That's a lot of grip. And it worked. Oh, I've pushed it at the right. Get left. Get left. I really do like the looks I'm getting on this course. Like you get some, like this last hole when Trevor was going on about he didn't really like it. I actually liked that hole. I thought it was a challenge. This one's the same. It's only short 230 metres, but you've got a tree in the way. If you go too long, you're in someone's balcony. So let's see how we go. I stay there. I've got an interesting shot here. I'm going to trust, I don't know why, but I'm going to trust my swing and try and go through the gap of that tree. <laughs> I don't know if I should watch the camera or you. <laughs> watch gonna, the ball. I'm going to get hit here. I can see it coming back. Just short. I went through the gap though. <laughs> yeah, great tip. Yeah, good par. Good par. Come around. Get over it. Around. Ooh, just over. Good shot. Get up. Way too fat. No. Oh, you should line that one up. Come on, come on. <laughs> All right, I went the long way to bogey. I reckon I'm gonna be in the bunker. Oh, no, just over. Happy days. All right, 
I got this part for birdie. Well, very enjoyable round. If you like what we do and you enjoy watching us go around reviewing every golf course in Australia, please make sure you subscribe because that, I don't every YouTuber says it, but it actually does help a lot being subscribed. So, and if you really want to help us out, go watch the next video on the corner of your screen, the Kilo Golf Course. That's an awesome fun day. Get up, get up, get up. Oh. That's a good effort. Pretty happy to finish with a par. Three pars in a row.